Hey cute stuff, welcome to your reading, but real quick, let me ask you a couple of questions, okay? Are you wondering what the hell is going on in your life? Have you been like, damn, what is coming next, okay? Has a person or situation really been stressing you the hell out? I know, I get it, I really get it, because that is the story of my life. Whew. If anybody knows, I know, so look. Just stop stressing, okay? And click the link below in my description box because I got something good for you here. You can get your reading over there with my friends at Keen for only $1.99. You can't beat that, baby. There's so many advisors to choose from. Five-star advisors, compassionate advisors, different types of divination and answers for you. Everything in one spot. Get the answers you need and get to clicking, baby. What are you waiting for? All right, Cancers, let's go ahead and see what it is, what you need to know. Welcome to another message with me, the Divination Duchess. We're going to keep it real. Let's see, Cancers, what do... So we got the Judgment card. Hmm... Hmm, there may be some deep reflection, deep thoughts. What's going on with this judgment here? Nine of Wands. Hmm, it looks like you may be focused here on what's really important to you. What is it that, yeah, what you're willing to fight for, what you feel like you need to defend and protect against here when it comes to your life, when it comes to your peace, when it comes to your happiness. A nine of wands and a seven of wands back to back. Mm, I feel like you're really realizing here where things have been out of alignment in your life or where you may feel like maybe someone else is driving the wheel or your car is going in the wrong direction or something is going on. You just feel like things are not necessarily the way you want them to be. And so what's happening is now you're about to have a little bit more fight in you. Okay. You are about to start rebelling here, fighting against what you feel is out of alignment, making sure that the pathway you're on is in alignment with your dreams, which your desires, what it is that you want. Okay. Let's see here. Will of fortune. Yes. So as you really step into this energy of fighting for what's right for you, what's happening is that the universe, God, the divine here is moving things forward here for you, propelling things forward, pushing things forward. But this is because you're fighting for what's right. So say, for instance, to you, um, you have some sort of goal or maybe you are really focused on building a family, building certain connections, whatever it is. It's like if there's been things getting in the way of that, you're assessing here where you can take charge here and really step up to the plate come up with new ideas new solutions move in different directions you get what i'm saying it's like you're finding ways here to problem solve to make things happen and then spirit is pushing the rest forward here so you can go towards a win definitely three of wands so there's a lot out on the horizon for you there's happiness there's sunny days there's great accomplishments great growth there's a lot out for you on the horizons but again here this is because you are no longer just allowing yourself to aimlessly be pushed in any direction or aimlessly going in any direction there's a lot of take charge energy here with this life review that you have as you look you'll be like you know what this shouldn't be this way why are things stuck yeah why are things this way you're like i'm not dealing with this anymore so these could be basically from limiting beliefs maybe trying to be in alignment with what we feel other people wants for us or desires or what may be acceptable to certain people it's like you're not focused on any of that anymore you're focused on following what's in your heart okay Yes, and it looks like there's some sort of offering that comes with this. So for some of you, this could definitely be romance that is in your heart, maybe a certain connection, um, maybe having the mindset to really fight for this connection. You know, maybe other people are saying you should leave it alone, but you're like, no, I'm fighting for what makes me happy. Okay, or it could be the latter. Maybe certain people think you should settle and stay in this connection. And you're like, no, I'm fighting for what makes me happy. I want something else, something better, because there's always people giving it advice here but um i feel like you're not for it right now cancer yeah you're manifesting what makes you happy so i feel like for you cancer there's this great energy here of manifesting creating magic in your life and it's for things that 
overfill your cup is what I'm hearing. It makes your cup feel full. Okay. So this is going to be romantic offerings. This is going to be financial blessings. This is going to be success offerings, stability offerings. You get what I'm saying? Like whatever it is that you're focused on and manifesting, you're actually moving towards that at this point, because I'm feeling before there was some stagnation. There was this this energy of being stuck or maybe even trapped, right? But I feel like this was what you had to review, what you had to focus on. What is keeping me trapped? Is it my thoughts? Is it my feelings? Is it other people? Is it the situation? Is it, you know, where's the blockages? So you figure that out and now you're moving forward here. And yeah, so you found the missing piece of the puzzle. So things are coming into balance here because you know exactly what to do. You know the direction to go in. You're very in control. You're very in tune here. Tell us more here about cancer. Yes, yes, yes. So you're overcoming any types of personal issues that may have gotten in your way here in the past. It's like anything that stops you on your pathway, you're not for it. And you're focused here on growing, developing, meeting the right people. I feel like being in alignment here with the right people. For some of you, there really is this need here to collaborate. I'm getting a collaborative energy also with that puzzle piece there. And so it's like you're figuring all of this out. You're figuring out what you need to do to move forward. Like, okay, I need to be around certain type of people or mingle or make certain connections here to get to the place that I want to in my life. So if you're wanting love, now you're figuring out, well, if I want love, I got to do something besides sit on the couch and wait for it. Right. Or if I want certain success, then maybe I need to increase my skills or increase my, um, leadership qualities. Right. Or if I want, um, a certain level of stability, maybe I need to partner with the right people. There's this element here of you really reviewing, and so this is a major change in your life. This is a big event. This is a big event because what's happening here is you're finally coming into alignment with your blessings. And it's like your soul saying these blessings were always there waiting for you. It was just up to you to come and grab them. And now that's what you're doing. You're grabbing them. Yes, you're grabbing them. Things are going to be balanced for you. Okay. Things are going to be balanced for you as well with that temperance here. And then this fairness here. So it's like all the opportunities that are in alignment with your heart and soul is coming along. You're going to be dealing with people that are fair and balanced people. You're going to be dealing with situations that are fair and balanced here for you. And so this is major for you, especially if you've come out of time of great hardship, frustration, feeling like you got to constantly watch your back, feeling like there's something that's constantly happening. Another, you know, um, avalanche or, or, something is happening and it's like no no more okay so things are feeling very smooth and balanced for you coming up here cancer and it's like you're in alignment with your goals let's get it yes and didn't i say that manifesting a damn miracle you are on your manifestation game we got that with the magician already you are on your manifestation game okay and and you're doing it the right way, not the wrong way. And that's what makes this so big is because you're doing this so balancedly that things are meant to just unfold in a magical way, miraculously is what I'm hearing, okay? So things are definitely happening for you and to you for your higher good. And this is because you face your demons, just like with that personal issue there. Yes, you took the time to reflect. You took the time to focus. You took the time to maneuver, to change your actions. You didn't sit there and blame everybody else, okay? Like other people was trying to blame you or put things on you. You're like, you know what? I'm not doing that. I'm going to reflect. What can I do? How can I handle this situation, okay? What in me can really take charge to fix this, to work through this, to move things forward? And that's why this journey is blessed for you because you've done a lot of work. OK, you've done a lot of work within. And so this has helped you to be in that position where you're meant to now start manifesting, having what you desire, having what you deserve. And the thing is that spirit, the universe, God, the divine has your back. OK, things are moving forward. The magic is happening. If you should just continue to move forward, honey. Yes. Spirit is saying, don't stop. Don't allow a dead end to happen here. It's up to you to continue to move things forward. Yes. And that's what I'm saying. It's up to you to continue to move things forward here when it comes to creating new opportunities, stepping into new opportunities. Because before what was happening is it's like you knew what you wanted. But you would just allow things to kind of fall to the wayside. It was always like allowing a dead end, but you're not allowing that anymore. You're fully in your take charge energy. You are taking no prisoners, okay? And you are making things happen. Tell us more here about cancers, what they need to know. 
we got childhood memories. So for some of you here, you're really tapping into healing some of those childhood wounds that were getting in the way here of you feeling like you deserve the best. Those wounds that make you kind of step into things that were imbalanced. Now you're stepping more into that kind of healthy childhood energy of following your dreams, manifesting what your heart truly desires, knowing that you deserve it, knowing that you can have it. Yes, honey. And this is because you have taken that time to understand yourself. Again, you've done the work. You, you've had that reflection. You've had that introspection. You've looked back and you're like, okay, I know why this is happening. Why I make these moves. What I need to do different. Yes, you've studied. You, I love this energy because Spirit is saying here, Cancer, that you have put so much work into your healing that there's nowhere to go but up. Okay, yes, you're deeply rooted now. You're secure, you're grounded. You can trust, there's nowhere to go but up because you've put in the work. You've put all the energy in. Tell us more here, Spirit. Give us more for cancer, what they need to know. Oh, no more resistance. I love it. I just heard kiss the re resistance goodbye. Say bye-bye to the resistance. No more resistance. Adios resistance. All of that good stuff, okay? All of that good stuff. So right now, you are being told that the resistance is coming to an end. But again, this is because of you assessing. I feel like your third eye is wide open and you see situations for what they truly are now. And so that's why, you know, it's like your roadmap can always lead you in the right direction or lead you towards the right solution. Right. And this is because you see things for what they truly are. You're choosing the road of less resistance, but you are also in this place of being very resilient. I love this energy because Spirit is saying here that you have been very tired, very exhausted. You've done a lot. And so all of this healing work in itself for you, all of this growth work, this reflective work has been a journey. Okay. That has been a heavy burden on your back, but you did it. Okay. You did it. You came out on top. That was something that you were able to bear, to carry. And so right now you're being told to reflect on that and really honor that part of you, that strength within you here. Okay. Honor that strength within you. Tell us more about cancer, what they want me to know. Ace of Wands. So there are these new sparks of inspiration that are going to be coming in towards you. And again, judgment twice, right? So this is because of the life review. And you're like, you know what? Something's got to give. Something's got to change. And you're not waiting for no handouts. You're not waiting for nobody to come and fix it. You're not doing none of that. You stepping out there and you're like, I got this. This is me. Yeah, Queen of Swords. This is because you're in that element here of being very logical. You're not using your emotions. You're using your logic, okay? You're using your wit. You're using your intelligence here in a, in a sense of passion, right? And this is helping to drive you forward towards what really makes you happy. Page of Swords. I feel like for some of you, there's some sort of information that's going to be coming to light. What's this information coming to light? What's this information coming to light? It has to do with some sort of movement forward or some sort of communication. Tell us about this. What's going on here? Some opportunity. Something's coming to light about an opportunity that's opening up in your life. And so this is something that you're going to be drawn to or pulled towards. What do they need to know about this opportunity? This opportunity is one that's balanced. Again, six of coins. Okay? Six of coins. It's a fair opportunity. It's a balanced opportunity. What you put in, it will come back to you, okay? So this is some sort of new information is coming in here, Cancer, for a new opportunity for you. I feel like this opportunity is coming in very swiftly, right? It is one that brings balance or requires you to be very balanced as you step into it. But I do feel like it's one that's very worth it and one that helps you to step up to the next level, 
Yes, and this is because you are focused on what's within you. I feel like it's a time in your life where there's a lot of growth and you're looking at your own power, your own ability to make things happen, your own ability to manifest, your own ability to bring forth opportunities, assess them, step into the ones that are right for you. So there's a lot here going on where it's all about your own internal growth and really finding this happiness here in your outer world based off of you stepping towards those positive situations, people, places, things, opportunities, all of that good stuff. Please go ahead, like, share, comment, subscribe. All your support is appreciated. Send in your love, light, and blessings, and I'll be talking to you later, boo. Bye.